Today we are at our Palmer Johnson Power Systems Sun Prairie location discussing our process for testing both customer rebuild and reman units. We will discuss the finer points of testing including oil filtration, data acquisition, and the full process of the test. Today we have a twin disc transmission and torque converter set on our test stand. The transmission is a TD 61179 and the torque converter is an 8 FLW 1700 series. These transmission and torque converters are found in the Brant road rail trucks. Similar versions can be found in ARF vehicles built by Oshkosh, Rosenbauer, and E1. During the testing procedure, all of the pressure, flow, and temperature data is collected via pressure transducers and the TDEC data acquisition system. This information is then recorded in a test report that is given to the customer upon successful completion of the test. The Palmer Johnson test procedure will take place after the complete rebuild. Once the rebuild is completed, the, the service tech will bring the components back and bolt them into the test stand. Once the transmission and torque converter have been bolted into the test stand and the hoses have been plumbed and the data acquisition equipment installed, he will fill the transmission case with oil. We use a 10 weight oil for testing as this heats up quicker and speeds the test along. This transmission serves as a sump for this system and the oil is pulled from the transmission through the charging pump. Once it leaves the charging pump, it goes through a five and then a three micron oil filter. Then it passes through a flow meter and it goes back into the transmission through the pressure regulating valve. The pressure regulating valve then creates the system pressure that is used to engage the clutches inside of the transmission. The oil not used to engage clutches is then sent to the torque converter to fill it. As the oil flows through the torque converter, it'll go through the oil cooler bolted on the front of the engine. Once cooled, it will return to lubricate the clutches and bearings inside the transmission. Once the transmission has been hooked up, filled with oil, the service technician will start the engine and will monitor the sump level and do a quick inspection for any possible oil leaks and make sure that we are flowing oil through the system. As the, the system comes to pressure and begins to run, he is going to monitor the sump level and adjust it as needed to get everything charged and ready to go. He will do another pass, a secondary pass over, just to make sure none of our check locations, oil seals, any of those possible areas could be leaking. If it is, then we'll shut down and address that. As long as everything looks good and the oil level is correct, then he will begin shifting through the gears. He will shift through the gears and we will monitor the clutch pressures at a low RPM. He'll keep an eye on each clutch pressure as he shifts through the six speeds, along with lube pressure and converter pressure, and making sure that our flow and all the pressures are falling within the OEM specifications. When all that looks acceptable, he will then shift up through the gears, raise the RPMs, and begin to warm the transmission set. Once the transmission set is at operating temperature, he will begin the full testing of the transmission. Before we go to full RPM, he will again go over and visually inspect for any potential oil leaks before the test is started. The pressures will be checked and recorded at both full throttle, 2100 RPM, and idle, 700 RPM, along with the oil flow from the pump and the temperature of the oil circulating through the transmission. Along with monitoring the pressures, we will also do traces on the clutch engagements as he is shifting through the gears. Once the 2100 RPM test has been conducted, he will drop the RPMs down to 700 RPMs and do the low speed test, where he again, he again will go through and check and record all clutch pressures, torque converter pressures, lube pressures, flows, and traces of the clutch engagements. If all pressures, flows, and temperatures meet OEM specifications, the transmission will be shut down 
and a full inspection will be taken to make sure we have no oil leaks. As long as there are no oil leaks, the test is a success. The transmission and torque converter will be removed and sent to our paint booth for painting. And that will conclude a successful test. Now that we have our transmission plumbed, filled with oil, and the data acquisition equipment hooked up, we're ready to begin the test.